Welcome back to my Yamasi Creek government colleagues and tribal members. This is Ren Pet Shepses Amuntet, and today I am making this recording to present my statements of fact regarding untruths spoken about me by Tiger Jack. First, I'd like to just speak briefly about my history within the tribe. I came into the tribe in 1989 in Brooklyn, New York during the Islamic school. And although I did not live in the community, I attended classes, attended the events, and lived the culture. In 1998, I moved down to Georgia as our Makru, Chief Black Thunderbird Eagle, had instructed us all to do. I frequented the land, I worked, I assisted in various capacities, just helping with the mission and the vision of our Maku. In 2004, around 2003 or 2004, I was initiated to the OES where I attended meetings and shortly after assumed positions, office positions, and um, assumed my responsibilities, upheld the principles of the order, and maintained honor at all times. A few years after that, I started teaching, I was asked to teach language class, which um, of course I did, right before I moved to Orlando, where I was asked to teach question and answer class. So throughout the years, I have always worked and taught and just assisted in any way that I was able to for the progress of our tribe. So regarding the statements of untruth that Tavajet made about me, um, so the first thing I'd like to address is her stating that I sabotage with those who don't want our my crew, Chief Black Thunderbird Eagle, home. I'm not sure who she's referring to. Most people I don't engage with closely. I don't go to other people's homes. I raise my children. I live our culture. I teach classes and I work. And I've worked within our tribe and that's pretty much all I do. I've also done my part in assisting in his freedom. I've done the petitions, I mean, whether those were viable or not, my intentions were in the right place. So I've signed petitions, I've spread the word for others to do the same. And as I learn more, then I did different things as I learned that those petitions really, they're really not viable. That's not what's going to free them. And so recently I have assumed a position within our tribal government. But I do recall that our Maku told us that it won't be the legal system that frees him. And that, along with my studies of different parts of the doctrine and my studies outside of the doctrine regarding sovereignty and just being free, it all made sense. So I went this route. The other statement she made was 
that I'm a witch. I really don't know the fullness of what that even means. What I have heard, at least to my understanding, my limited understanding, is that witches do things um, covertly to hurt others. And that I've never done. I've never mistreated anyone in any kind of way. I've never done anything to harm anyone blatantly or covertly. In fact, the first time I've heard about any type of witchcraft and things done, any type of rituals done to harm my master teacher, I've actually heard it from Tabby Jet. She was the one who told me about people within the tribe that were doing these things. Um, she gave a very graphic description of the things that they were doing. And I didn't think at the time to even ask her, well, how does she even know these things? Like, I mean, she described these things in such great detail. And my thinking now is that you would have had to have been there to know all of this detail about what these people are supposedly doing who are supposedly witches. You know, when I hear things, I basically take it with a grain of salt. Um, I remember what's said, but um, the truth always comes to light. You know, so... Um, I stand for what's right. No one can control me. I've never done any types of spells or anything that so-called witches are known for in a negative way. And um, again, I'm here for the progress of our tribe to help free our Maku, our head of state. And I encourage everyone to do the same because this is what he is asking of us. He has stated that we are his government and this is the route to our freedom and his freedom. We have to free ourselves before we can free him. Um, one thing in that regard, um, Ashley Royal has stated that the conviction stands until the tribe comes to get him. We can't claim to be a tribe if we're U.S. citizens. It doesn't work that way. We have to correct our status and reclaim who we are as your Massey Creek Nationals. That's the way we can free him. That's pretty much all I have to say. So all of those things that she stated about me are not true. I'm not sure what else was said, but those are the things that I've heard. And that's it. And I appreciate being here, being a part of our government, and being able to do anything that I can do to help in our progress. Why did